Hey, it's Mars, and this is Intro to Unity and Play Game, Part 1. In this video, we'll be going over the basics of Unity for those who are unfamiliar. I've just opened a new project, and before we get started, I'd like to make two changes to our layout. First, I'm going to dock my project window next to my inspector, and I'm going to move my console in between the two. Also notice how our project window was split down the middle. I'll use the drop down and choose a one column layout for easier navigation. I've created a few folders with underscores in the title so that they stay at the top of the list and this way it'll help me keep my project window clean as we start to accumulate more assets. In my hierarchy, I'll right click and create a 3D cube. To navigate in our scene view, I'll hold down right click and use W, A, S, and D. Games in Unity are basically made out of game objects in your hierarchy and components that are on those game objects, which you can see in your inspector. So this 3D cube I just created comes with a transform, mesh filter, box collider, and mesh renderer component. Game objects will be everything in your game from tables and chairs to buildings to players to weapons, um, everything in your game that you can see basically. Let's talk about directions. So this blue arrow is forward or positive Z axis. Negative Z would be backwards. The red arrow is right and left, so positive X would be to the right, negative X is to the left, and lastly the green arrow is our Y axis, positive Y is up, negative Y is down. I'm currently using the move tool which you can hit W on your keyboard or click it up here. We also have E for rotate and R for scale. You can also hold control while moving, rotating, or scaling for more precise control. I'd like to share a few hotkeys that I've found very useful over the last year or so of using Unity. If we press F, our view will be centered on the game object we have selected in the hierarchy. While Control shift f will move the game object we have selected to our current position and rotation. This is especially useful for moving your directional light, which is typically used as sunlight. Two more hotkeys I'd like to share is, of course, copying and pasting in your hierarchy with control C, control V. However, in your project window, you can't copy paste, but you can use control D to duplicate. And last but not least, to disable a game object, you would typically click on the checkbox at the top of your inspector. However, we can also select a game object in your hierarchy and use Alt Shift A to enable and disable the game object. If we wanted to make a prefab, we could drag a game object from the hierarchy right into our project window. Unity uses materials to apply textures to game objects. So if I drag this texture right onto my game object, Unity will create a material for me. And that simply tells Unity what shader to use. We'll be using the standard shader for most of our game objects. So our current scene has a main camera, directional light, and cube game objects. Directional light being our sunlight in this case. However, there's actually two light sources right now. I'll go to Window and open up Lighting. And I'll dock this next to my inspector. If we change our ambient source from Skybox to Color, now we have more direct control over the ambient lighting in our scene, as well as back in our inspector, our directional light's intensity. I'd also like to go to the Lighting tab and turn off Auto Baking. To my understanding, this simply stores information about the shadows in your current scene. However, I find that constantly updating this information as you're moving game objects around 
um, can decrease performance. So I personally always turn off auto baking. When we're in play mode, any changes we make in our scene, such as if I were to delete this cube, will be undone when we leave play mode. And last but not least, I'd like to touch on parent transforms and child transforms. So our cube game object, I'll use control V and then put one inside the other. So the parent game object in our inspector, its transform is a global transform, a global position. So it would be, in this case, five units to the right of the center of your scene, five units up from the center, and five units in front of the center of your scene. However, a child's transform is how far away it is from its parent. So a negative one on the z-axis means it's right behind its parent. That's about all I wanted to touch on in this video. Thank you for watching and join me next time where we'll be going over ply blocks.